Iowa opening Big Ten play on the road against the number two team in the country, Purdue. Let's go to a packed and rowdy Mackey Arena without Keegan Murray. The Hawks trail. Trayvon Williams catches on the block, throws it down, 65-48 Boilermakers. But Iowa would start to come back. Joe Toussaint bringing the rain with this three. Hawks down 10. After another turnover, Chris Murray taking it to the rack. It's good. It's now 70-65. Murray brings Iowa within two after he knocks down this three. 70-68, there's hope for the Hawks. Toussaint, the drive and bucket. Hawks still down to 72-70. Iowa, though, would get no closer. Jaden Ivey goes past the defense. Two more of his 19. Iowa's comeback falls short. 77-70. Now let's go to Champaign as Illinois starts the Big Ten season at home against Rutgers first half. Early on, DeMonte Williams to Coleman Hawkins hitting the triple to tie it at five. Illinois in transition. Williams with three of his 22 lining up eight to five and they would never look back. Illinois keeps a hot hand from outside. Luke Good from the top of the key, 13 to seven. Illini then with some quick guards. Alfonso Plummer, the quirk the quick first step, dribble drive down the lane to the rim, 15 to seven. He scores 24. Late first half, Illinois starts to feed the big man. Kofi Coburn would throw one down. He records a double double, 13 and 15. Illinois rolls 86 51. They play Iowa on Monday. After a week of Thanksgiving tournaments, boys basketball teams in the Western Big Six tipping off conference play. Let's go to the Western Big Six, Geneseo and Rock Island. First quarter, rocks crashing the boards. It's Amarian Nimmers. He put back, and Rock Island would be in front, 12 to 5. Rocks then inbound under their own basket. Marion Anderson, nice seal of the defender, getting the bucket in the paint. The lead grows to nine, but Geneseo's hanging around. The nice drive from Bristol Lewis on the lay-in that cuts it to 14 to 7. Then Rock Island goes on a run to end the quarter. Kai Rios, the drive, his floater is good 22 to 9 and Jalen Randall with a strong move to the rim his bucket beats the buzzer rocks up 24 to 9 they win 89 55. Now let's go to the Panther Den UT trying to cool off the smoking hot Quincy Blue Devils that three here by Devontae Wright evening the score in the first quarter but later in that opening quarter Quincy the kick out to Jeremiah Talton for the bomb Devils by seven through one. Quincy is also tough in the paint. Keyshawn Thomas, a freshman, strong for two. It's 19 to six, and the Devils will continue to roll. It would be Talton knocking down three more. The UT's rally would come short in this one as Quincy goes on to win big in this game, 70 to 39. Now let's go to Don Morris Jim. Sterling makes the trip to play Alleman. Jerry Burt with a nice Whip zoom there, picking it up third quarter. Sterling up big, Kyle Billings a three from the corner. Golden Warriors in front, 56-19. More from Sterling, it's J.P. Schilling. We'll grab a board at one end, he'll push the other way, going coast to coast for the lay-in. The lead is up to 49. Allman still showing some fight. Andrew Grip comes up with a steal, finds the open shooter for the basket. But the Allman comeback falls well short, 75-35. Bowling on the road to Galesburg, and they get a big roadie, 77-59 in Big Six play. Now over to Iowa as Davenport North begins their season with Cedar Rapids Jefferson opening quarter. James Porter, the jumper for North. That'll cut the deficit to 9-5. More from the Wildcats. Porter this time inside, fighting, cleaning the glass, and getting the putback. It's a two-point game, but Jefferson continues to hold on to their lead. Kazor Lewis. The bucket, 16-15 Jayhawks. This one will be close throughout. Trayvon Coney with the lay-in, cutting it back to one, but this one goes the way of the Jayhawks, 63-58. Staying on the Iowa side as they open the MAC play. Central DeWitt at Pleasant Valley, second quarter, home team in front. Central DeWitt moving without the ball. Taylor Beach gets rewarded with the bucket in the paint. Sabres down 12-9. Central DeWitt pushing the other way. Beach to Alley Meadows. It's a one-point game. Spartans take their game outside. Kenzie Stats adding three more to her stat line. PV leads 19-11. Next trip for Pleasant Valley. Addy Kirkhoff catches and splashes from the wing. PV up 22-16 at the break. Spartans go on to win by 10. Just a few miles away, Bettendorf hosting Davenport North. Second quarter, 
Bettendorf in front when Izzy Apple has the open look from the top of the key. Her three is good, 15 to nine Bulldogs. Wildcats turn up the defensive pressure. Layla Muhammad, the steal, she pushes the other way, getting the lay-in, cutting it to a four-point game. North would then start to find their range from the outside. Demia Clark connecting on the three. It's a 17-14 game. This one would go overtime before Bettendorf wins 54-51. Now we dribble over to Assumption. Lady Knights host Clinton. Opening quarter, no score. Holly Jundle to Ava Schubert, 2-0. Home team, Clinton answers. Allie House sharing with Kanaya Angel. That'll tie things up at two. Nice spin move and jumper. Ava Schubert then would flex her muscles on the inside as she would grab the board, get the bucket. Lady Knights back in front and they would never look back. They roll to a 30 point win. Checking some Matt girls scores. It's Central beating Muscatine and North Scott over West 67 to 20. So a big night on the basketball courts and Hawkeyes tomorrow, tomorrow against Michigan. Big game, big, big, big game. game. We will be there. Absolutely.